Hello guys, welcome back to Salesforce Anytime channel. Have you ever faced a situation where uh, you have created a new custom editor type in developer org and you wanted to set up some number of uh, custom editor records for that and probably which is like 100 or 200 custom editor records you wanted to set up for that custom editor type. Uh, if you have faced that kind of situation, then the only way you can do that in Salesforce is you have to go to the manage uh, records for the custom editor type. And once you are here, you are able to see all the custom editor records for this custom editor type. And the only way you can do is you can click new and you can enter the label here which probably I'm going to say I'm just going to give some random number so that it's not duplicated so this is just for example here but in real situation you might have some kind of um, codes uh, which are entered inside um, like promotion codes or whatever type of uh, list of different codes you have right and, and the, the reason why you want like 100 or maybe 200 of those could be that you wanted to give them as a selection to users so i'm just going to say test right and i'm going to save this so i just created one custom editor record uh, which is fine which it is created but imagine if you wanted to create like 100 200 custom editor records right so in that situation uh, it is going to be little difficult to type in all that information right so that is what i'm going to show you today how you can do that without hassle right so let's uh, log into pack magics So I'm going to log into my developer edition org. Let me click allow so that it can access the Salesforce org. Yep. So this is the custom editor loader. So I have. So what you got to do is you got to select uh, which is the custom editor type you want to um, select. So one advantage is that it is directly going to give you all the custom editor records you already have in the system so you can see it here so the the last uh, custom editor record is here which we added through salesforce right so now what you can do is you can actually download this um, custom editor records as a csv I'm just going to open it directly so once I open it so you're going to probably use uh, MS Excel so since I have this Libra office I'm using it so let's um, let's remove the columns which are not needed for this uh, upload so we're going to just remove uh, this column oh so we have to click on edit document since this is this was open in read only mode i'm going to remove the columns which i don't need so i just need developer name uh, the label and there is a reason description which is a custom field so others others i don't need for upload i'm going to get rid of these and label and then Okay, so these three columns are most important ones. I'm going to get rid of this. Yep. So now I got uh, the template which I wanted to upload. So let me just uh, create some entries in here. So I'm going to uh, probably create multiple entries here. So let's say US can say start from maybe two to zero it and just keep this label as same and probably the description I'm going to say two to zero test okay let me just 
copy over these two other cells Oops. Not like this so I've created multiple entries so you can always go and um, type it in if you wanted to uh, whatever um, data you want to type into the CSV since uh, this is for demo purpose I'm just creating some random entries here so just for you to show that how you can do this so if you already have received a CSV file from your business or from your uh, team lead uh, that's well and good so you can upload those kind of uh, custom data records directly using that CSV you just have to make sure that you are entering the right field names here so most important are the developer name label and whatever custom fields you have present on your custom metadata type so let me just save this okay so we have added the custom metadata records to a CSV file and now we are going to see how we can actually add those custom metadata records to uh, this custom metadata type uh, using the bulk upload feature so let me click on the create metadata records button so here uh, you have also also have an option to add uh, one by one um, custom metadata records on a single screen and you can actually very well type in the details what you want to type uh, for each custom metadata record and this is also a good facility for you uh, to do it uh, in a one go on a single screen uh, so if you don't have a CSV uh, file available already and you don't want to work in CSV so this is a good option you can try and you can just uh, type it uh, all the information here so uh, I just wanted to show you how you can do this in a bulk from a CSV uh, so ultimately it's going to bring it in the this screen only so let me just remove this two test rows so delete rows and now I'm going to hit upload CSV button and click on browse so this is uh, the CSV we created yep so it has actually brought all the data into the screen now so whatever um, custom data records you were having in the CSV so they are all created here all right so let me just give it a try and uh, create these new set of custom metadata records in the Salesforce so let's try and click on this button create metadata records hopefully it's not going to give any errors yep so those are already created I believe uh, that is the reason the processing icon has gone so you want to verify these so these are the records which are starting with the us2 right so let's go back so initially we had very few records let me uh, in order to refresh this i just let me just reselect that again so that i know how many are created yep so we got those created so now it's increased to 65 rows and uh, we can see the us2 right so us251 yep all those are actually created custom data records so if you were to create this manually in Salesforce, it would have taken a lot of time clicking one by one, one by one button. But uh, so this is the way you could bulk import or bulk create uh, the custom data records on a single screen. So thank you very much for watching this video again. And if you have any feedback, suggestion, comments, please put into the YouTube video so that uh, I can improve in, uh, from the next video onwards. Thank you very much for watching this. Have a good day. Bye.